<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and you, my gorgeous, gorgeous stars, what a wonderful moment to start a new YouTube channel, don't you think? Let's roll the clip right here, right now, because we are not stopping now. Let's go. <laughs> And so, here I am, bonjour, a bienvenue, hello and welcome darlings, thank you for joining me in today's video. As you can see, um, I got changed a little bit to something more representable in a white shirt, a blank page, a new start, exciting adventure, how wonderful. Um, I always wanted to make an introduction video to my channel and then just go with the flow. So here we are today and uh, we will be discussing, well I'll be having my monologue, but I hope you're gonna hang out with me, stay with me, about why do, why are we here? Why there's a new channel? Um, I hope that you're going to stay with me in the meantime when I'll be doing lots of blah 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 <laughs> I'll be preparing myself for the day um, doing a little bit of a skincare and of course doing a little bit of a makeup which is my main interest makeup and traveling um, and this is something that I would like to talk about very often on my channel so if you are into traveling you're more than welcome to join me um, of course I don't have many opportunities to travel these days but if I will I would definitely would like to share my experience with you and vlog about it and the second major interest is skincare skincare uh -huh. <laughs> And the second, my major hobby and something that I'm very interested in is skincare and makeup. And this is something that I would like to share it with you, my experiences, my opinions, my reviews. So yes, without further ado, let me get ready and start talking about the reasoning about why there is a channel and most importantly why the channel is called Paris Star Channel because the reason behind the whole subject behind the whole title is actually very important. Let me start getting ready for the day by putting first skincare then a little later a little bit of a makeup while I'll be having a little bit chat with you with myself anyway let's just let's just do it first let me do something with my hair a headband right meow <laughs> anyway okay um before i'm gonna scare you away let's just do it so my first steps into my daily skincare is um, a good moisture because uh, I am over 40 years old uh, my skin is very needy <laughs> which means in it needs uh, a lot of pampering it needs a lot of scare especially in this age so um, my steps are essences face oils serums and creams and um, a sunscreen so yes, this is something that I use every day and what I do in my skincare, I take for example the face oil, can be any face oil that suits your need. My face oil comes from Rituals, it is my favorite brand when it comes to skincare and yeah, I swear I, I absolutely love it. So I'm having a face oil as you can see 
Then I'm taking a serum that suits my needs for for the moment, for example. So this this serum um, is from my favorite brand called Koi Koi Cosmetics. Um, it contains lots of good clean beauty stuff, and then. I'm using the essence. This essence is from Rituals as well. It's my favorite, favorite product. Um, so I don't know if you know or not, but the face oils are usually very thick and my skin doesn't like that. So what I do is I take one, two, three, four, five, five drops of that oil to my hand. I'm putting it on my hand. Then I'm taking one, two, three, four, five, five drops of that serum. Then I'm rubbing it like that, like that. And now it is very thick. So I'm going to take the essence, one, two, three, rub it all, rub it all, rub it all. And now I am going to put this on my face and even under the eyes very gently you know because that skin is very needy as well especially mine and then down the neck And this is my first step, my favorite step. Actually, my skin, oh my God, I, I can actually feel it. How my skin is waking up, it's like, oh, oh, is it time, is it time to wake up? No, okay, let's wake up. <laughs> um, and right after that, it is very important for me to use a creams. So I am going to use just an ordinary eye cream that suits my needs. Um, there is a mirror right over here, you know? So I'm going to look at the mirror while talking to, to the camera. This is something very new to me and very unusual, you know? Um, to talk to the camera. And sometimes when I do that, I'm running out of words. I'm like, oh my God, what should I say? What should I say? We keep on rolling, we keep on going, you know? <laughs> ah, really something new. But something exciting, a new YouTube channel, oh my god, I can't believe it, it is happening. <laughs> so yes, this is my face cream, as you can see. Oh, by the way, have you seen it? My beautiful Eiffel Tower, Paris Star Channel, beautiful backdrop with the Eiffel Tower. Huh. I don't know why you just have those cherry, well, you do have a cherry blo blo blossoms around Eiffel Tower, actually. Yeah, you do. I haven't been there for a while because of the of the lockdowns and whatever was happening in 2021. Anyway, eye cream applied and now I'm going to apply a face cream. And this is my favorite face cream from Koi Cosmetics. I absolutely love it. Clean Beauty, this is something that is down my alley. I totally love it. I stray away from from non-clean beauty, which means that I'm not completely 100% clean beauty friendly. You know, the formulations are like they are. I am not formulating the product. So sometimes I just have to agree with, uh, with the fact that the product is not fully 100% clean beauty okay I don't know if you can see it or if you or if you can compare it with what was happening in the beginning of the film but my skin is already glowing is already waking up it looks absolutely wonderful and this is a perfect preparation for the makeup that is going to happen after how exciting anyway I talk too much get ready I should probably tell you, grab some popcorn, maybe. Maybe you should grab some popcorn. I don't know. You do you. <laughs> um, and 
very important step, which is the sunscreen. And this sunscreen is from Rituals as well. Because I just... I, I just love how it performs. And it is so gentle and so effective. This sunscreen is 30. But I guess these days, the sun, it is... I guess these days, the sun is so aggressive to our skin that the the factor the the protection 30 is not good enough you know i go on a walk sometimes and i realize oh my gosh i actually burned in my 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 skin in here you know so yes the spf as you can see this spf melts into the skin it smells extremely nice Anyway, look at this. The skin looks beautiful, glowy, radiant, refreshed, merveilleux, wonderful. So, let's talk about this channel, Paris Star Channel. Today is the grand opening. <laughs> How exciting. Um, as I mentioned before, I was thinking a lot I, uh, about how I should call my channel. There are so many channels, but, and everyone wants to make their channel really special and exceptional. So, Paris Star Channel. Three words. Each one of them is very important. Let's start with Paris. Why Paris? Um, Paris can be a name for all the men and all the women. Paris basically can be a name for everyone. And that was my main goal, you know, to invite everyone to my channel. It doesn't really matter if you're a boy or you're a girl or women, a man, it doesn't really matter. Everyone's welcome. Everyone is so much welcome <laughs> uh, to join me, to tune in, to share opinions with me about anything, about something. Um, that was the main idea. Paris, as well, is a name of a city where I live <laughs> for quite some time. Um, it's a city of glamour, stars, red carpet. But as well, it is a gorgeous, beautiful, romantic city of love for everyone, of tolerance. It doesn't matter who you are. Um, there is that special quote that I like very much. And it says, no one is you and that is your power. And that is really very important. And this is a message that I would like to share with everyone every single time on my videos. So, yes, Paris a city of glamour, beautiful city of love and tolerance, but it is also a city of incredible shopping, you know? You go down the street like um, Champs-Élysées and then you can see the Guerlain, uh, Louis Vuitton, uh, Yves Saint Laurent, Dior, Sephora, of course, and all the other shops, and you can just go wild. And this is something that I love about Paris. But, I have a little surprise for you, ta-da! <laughs> I have a little surprise prepared for you, which is a little trip around Paris. Let me take you there just for a few minutes so that you can see and look what does it mean to live in Paris. The film, that clip, was made during the lockdown, so you will not be able to see as much as you could see probably when you are already watching the video because France has finished the lockdown, but still, it's something that is definitely worth seeing, something that I prepared for you. So, let's go to Paris, baby! <laughs> Bonjour and bienvenue à Paris, or should I say, hello and welcome and greetings from the most beautiful city in the whole wide world, Paris that is, city of love, city of romance, city of beauty, city of glamour, red carpets, 
you name it, whatever you name it, it is true. What a wonderful moment to start a new journey in this gorgeous city. Would you like to join me? You're more than welcome. Paris is absolutely the best place to shop. Everything which you need and desire, you can certainly find in this wonderful and gorgeous city. But I'm going to show you some of my favorite places where you can shop for makeup here in Paris. Who doesn't know Crayolan, right? If you are in the makeup industry, you have to know Crayolan. So, this is the boutique, which is absolutely wonderful because whenever I need something, I can just go inside and have a consultation with the best makeup artists. There are so many places and shops that it's absolutely incredible, unbelievable here in Paris. But unfortunately, in Paris now, we are facing lockdown, so most of the boutiques are actually shut. But I can't wait for them to reopen. Monoprix is my favorite store here in Paris when it comes to browsing and shopping for the drugstore brands. So I'm actually gonna try and go inside and see what's interesting they have in store. As you can see, look at the decorations, it's absolutely insane. It will be definitely an unforgettable experience. And if you will ever be around in here, have a look. I guarantee you, you will never forget it. And so I have arrived at our last stop in our little journey around Paris. But what a gorgeous stop this is. Have a look. The heart of Paris, Arc de Triomphe of this style, while on the other side, Champs Elysees, the Elysee Fields, wonderful and gorgeous place where you can find young restaurants incredible boutiques, House of Dior, Guerlain, Louis Vuitton, and many, many more. Whatever your heart desires, you can find it over here. Anyway, as I mentioned before, I'm making a film while we're still in a lockdown here in, in Paris, but most probably where you are gonna watch this video, the shops are gonna be reopened. How wonderful. Anyway, enough talking in here. Let's go back to the studio because I have much more things to talk about. So let's go. In the meantime, greetings from Paris. <laughs> and so here we are back in the studio. Beautiful Eiffel Tower, cherry blossom. <laughs> um, so what do you think? Did you like the journey? Would you like me to be a guide around Paris? at least for one day. I can create some trips, like one day trips, two day trips, 
that for example if you're in Paris for a very short time and you would like to see as much as possible without entering and spending your times in museums and other places you just would like to go on a stroll around, around the beautiful city let me know I might actually go out with my camera and film a little bit of that guy but I stray away from the main subject today now I will try to prepare myself a little bit of a makeup it looks like my skincare has sunk into the skin and it's ready for an exciting makeup so first it is very important for me personally to uh, protect my skin from the makeup because the makeup ingredients are not necessarily beneficial to the skin so I have to protect my skin from these ingredients that I will not get into my skin and it will not basically ruin my skin nobody would like that right so first things first I am going to use a primer that is going to create a barrier a wall between the pro the, the the wonderful skincare and the, the makeup so one of my favorite primers and if you are in the makeup industry you probably know that it's elf elf poreless putty primer and it's absolutely perfect for that for such purpose so it is very bulby i might be taking too much you know there is a mirror as i spent as i mentioned before that's why i might not necessarily be looking always at the camera in my opinion and this is my opinion a primer is supposed to protect your skin from a harmful ingredients that are coming from the makeup you know yes gorgeous still looking glowy <laughs> okay today in this video I will I would like to introduce you to my Paris star channel signature look of 2021 which is makeup that looks glowy look, looks radiant looks fresh it's not too heavy it rather goes towards the natural look and not rather the makeup look because um and this is my personal opinion you know opinions are not facts but i personally like to enhance my own beauty we are all beautiful you are a star you're beautiful we are all beautiful so why would i like to personally cover that up you know i would like to enhance it <laughs> i would like to put a little bit of oomph so i am not a very big fan of full coverage makeup but if you like it then i totally respect that you know and today i will try to to create a little bit of a like gentle makeup gentle makeup like makeup no makeup anyway I talk too much the time is running so let's do it primer is done one of the things that I like to do before putting the foundation is to putting a blush on my cheeks before the foundation and one of my hacks that I still use all the time is to use the lipstick a very creamy lipstick on on my cheeks you know this lipstick actually is uh, from L'Oreal Paris duh, and it's called color I don't know if you can see it probably you can't see it color rich shine and it's in the number 112 only in Paris <laughs> oh my gosh these names anyway so mirror is right over here I'm right over here looking at you looking at mirror looking at you again looking at mirror looking at mirror looking at you um, I'm taking the lipstick and I am putting the lipstick in here uh, this is what I said we are all different we have all different shapes of face and that makes us really very special because we are all different and unique so if you apply your blush in a different way it's fine you know um as i said and as i mentioned before this is my signature look so this is how i do it as you can see Ooh, some streaks what is happening 
and look with a finger because this is very important the temperature of, of my body and of my fingers will melt with the product that is already on my face and it's going to give me that beautiful glowy flush of color because I don't want to personally be super makeup y, you know? I want to look natural. A little bit on, on the nose because. This is something wonderful about makeup. You can do whatever you want about makeup and you can transform yourself into anyone, anything you want, you know? I love it. So yes, there is a little bit of flash of colors. I love it. And now, although I am already very radiant and glowy, I'm going to use a liquid highlighter to, to give myself a little bit more of a pop. I absolutely love it. <laughs> It can be any random um, uh, liquid uh, highlighter. This one is, is in a rosy color. So, okay, I am going to... Oh, come on, it doesn't want to open. So I'm going to literally put on this palette one drop, like so, boom. Now I am going to do this so that there is some in here and some of my finger and I'm gonna look in the mirror right over here and I'm going to apply it in here to give myself a little bit of a beautiful glow on my cheekbones you know never like never down in here but like only in here all right can you see the glow or like hello I don't like to put the highlighters on my nose and in here because basically I personally and this is my own personal preference I don't like glowy noses <laughs> I don't like it. it it gives me an idea of an oily shiny nose and this is this is not not no no this is not not me <laughs> so Okay, now I'm going to let it sit for a while, the product. It, the product needs a little bit of time to rest and to sink into the skin. Otherwise, if I would rush things, it, it would not look good. You know, the makeup would not look good. So, I am going to take now a concealer and I'm going to conceal a little bit of my under eyes. I personally am not a very big fan of, of using concealers at all. It's because... It is very difficult to find good concealers, you know, especially for the aging eyes, you know, for the people under when they're over 40 years old, it is very difficult to find a good concealer. And concealer can conceal your under eyes, but a bad concealer can actually expose your under eyes and make it look bad. As I look at myself here now in the mirror, I could say, I'm fine. <laughs> you know, I don't really need it a lot. But for the sake of this video and for the sake of creating my signature Paris Star Channel look, um, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. You know, it's a brand that it is in Paris. I have an itchy nose. It drives me crazy. <laughs> so if I'm going to do something with my nose, it's because it's itchy. Anyway, Makeup Forever Paris Ultra HD. This one is in color and shade 32. It's one of my favorites, actually. So, there it is. Oops, okay. As you can see, and while looking in the mirror, I'm just going to apply just a little bit like just the George, you know of the concealer right here in the middle and now i will start working with my fingers you know the temperature of your fingers does miracle to the product you know 
it helps product melt with the skin. See? My under eye still looks beautiful, glowy and radiant. It melts with my skin, the concealer, and this one, the Makeup Forever, is really very good for the for the aging eyes. It's not super duper 100% coverage, but it does its job. As you can see, covered eyes, happy eye, uncovered eye, unhappy eye. So let's let's work work it. Let's work it, work it. There you have it. Okay, the eyes are concealed, the cheeks are blushy and glowy, so what I'm going to do now is I will start applying the foundation. And the foundation is, I could say, oldie but goodie, one of the best foundations and the favorite foundations of all people around the world. An old formulation, really very good, and it's going to be and Estee Lauder double wear in the color 1 and 2 Accru. My favorite shade. I absolutely love it. And it's actually a matte foundation, but you are going to discover that whatever I did underneath will not make this foundation look matte at all. It was it will actually look very glowy, very healthy and very radiant. So, I am going to shake it and prepare it okay and now I am going to squeeze it on my palette just like so wonderful and now I'm going to start applying this on my face so this is my personal rule I call it a rule of 12 dots which means that you don't have much of a product and you use 12 dots to, and you put it on your skin. Let me explain. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, and twelve. And this is my personal rule of the twelve, twelve dots. Not more, not less, and now I will start to blend it by using my hands, you know, the warmth of my hands. And let's see. Let's start from this side. My hand will, look, will work like a beauty blender, you know. In the meantime, when I will be blending, and I will take, that will take quite some time, let me explain you the second part of the title Paris Star Channel. Star. What does it mean? Why have I chose a star? You know, some people might be saying, oh, you're copying other people. Not really. There is a, there is a wisdom and a philosophy. <laughs> well, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but there is some thought behind that, that word. And basically for me, a star means that you are the star. You are my star. You came here to my channel to listen what I have to say. That is absolutely wonderful. You hang out with me and you're spending your free time with me. You might comment, you might give me a hate comment. That's totally fine. It will help me to learn and grow. Um, and you might not give anything. <laughs> and that's totally fine as well, you know. Um, I want you to feel yourself, you know. The better, the best version of yourself. You are the star. I am a star, because why I shouldn't, you know. In my life, especially in the past, I met lots of people that were telling me things that I not necessarily would like to hear. It happens, you know? I guess sometimes we're just forgetting ourselves. Um, 
I personally think, and this is my personal opinion, no one, absolutely no one, should be in power, any human being should be in power to tell other human being what you should do with anything, with your life, whatever, you know? You are the captain of your own ship, that is life, and no one should have a right to interfere with that. That's my personal um, opinion. As I've said before, no one is you and that is your power, you know? That is really very important. So, I hope that from time to time we will have a chance to hang out together, do the transformation together, we'll have a chance to share our experiences as much as you might be curious in me. I am extremely curious about you and whatever you can bring to this channel, you know? So yeah, you are a star, I am a star, we are stars and we create a whole galaxy of incredible people that live in this place on earth for some purpose, you know, for some reason. We just have to, I guess, discover it on our own, you know, and there shouldn't be anyone else that should be telling you who should you be. I mean, people should have a right to propose you many things, but people should not be telling you what you can do and what not. You know, that is my personal opinion. Anyway, oh my gosh, can you see this makeup? Can you see it, how it looks? Like glowy. This is Estee Lauder, a matte makeup, a matte foundation. Well, no, not with my signature look, you know, not with, with the way how I am doing it. So now, as you can see, it is looks, it looks very radiant. It looks very glowy and now, the part, the last part is the powder part. Uh, I am kind of hesitating. Should I use Laura Mercier and tone down that glow just a little bit? Because um, I like how it looks like, you know? It is slightly tacky. Just a teeny tiny bit. We're going to use a classic Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder. So, uh, to set it just, just, just a smidge, to set it just a little bit, okay? So, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put a little bit of it here on the lid. Really, just a teeny tiny bit. And I'm going to take the brush, swirl it on the lid. And just to set it just a teeny tiny bit, you know. Laura Mercier, it's a very good powder. It's like um, the best powder, setting powder. But my dry skin does not necessarily enjoy that powder, you know. I think I think that looks I think that looks really very nice, okay? This is as much as I need. I don't really need it a lot. So now we're set and now it's time for a finishing touches, okay? The finishing touches will happen with one of my favorite powders, finishing powders, which comes from the Hourglass. This is actually the Hourglass palette. It looks like this. It has, uh, it has finishing powder, it has uh, the highlighter, it has some blush and the bronzer. All in one, I absolutely love it. So, I'm going to take the brush. And then I'm going to put some of these powders in here. Uh, 
Okay. Now, I am going to use a little bit of a bronzer to my face. Not too much, but to give me a little bit of a shape. Just like so. You know what? I'm doing the makeup in front of the camera for the first time in my life. I never thought that it might be actually a real challenge and really difficult because I'm putting myself out in the world, you know? I will be judged most probably, might even be hated, you know? And I'm not sure if I'm ready for that, but we ain't stopping now, you know? This is the, the opening video for my channel, so... Since I already made the first step, I already made the jump, I ain't gonna stop. What do you think? I think it looks good. I think it looks nice. So now I am going to take and put a little bit more color to my cheeks because um, the foundation has toned it down, but just a smidge, just a teeny tiny. So I'm going to take the brush. And this is in the middle here. Yes. It's my favorite brush. Blah, blah, blush, blah. It's my favorite blush. And we're going. A little bit on the, on the tip of the nose in here, you know, but not too much, so that I will look still good and natural, you know. What do you think? I think it looks really nice. A very gentle, glowy, radiant makeup. Absolutely love it. So, and for the final touch of the makeup journey, I'm going to use a setting mist to set everything and for that I'm going to use the classic setting mist from Morsi Con Morsi? Huh. A setting mist from Morphe Continuous Setting Mist Let's go Ready? And now we're having, you know, our skin is back to life with, with this setting mist, despite the fact that I put a little bit of Laura Mercier that always takes life away from my skin. So now you have it, as you can see. The makeup is finished. It looks beautiful. It looks glowy. It looks radiant. I absolutely love it. This is my signature look, Paris Star Channel look. Um, I wonder what you think. Do you like it? Do you hate it? If you want to, you can share your opinion with me. If you don't want to, you don't have to do anything. That's totally fine. I respect that, you know? So yes, right now, let me get changed and come back to you in a full Parisian glam and glory, okay? And we are back and rolling in a full glamour, <laughs> in a full glory, you know? This is the the Paris Star channel look, but look at this. Ta da! Oh my gosh, how it fits! Woo! <laughs> so it is time now to touch on the last subject, which is channel. The last word from the Paris Star channel. Basically, channel. It's a whole galaxy, it's a homeland for anyone. We are all different, but that makes us really very special. And I want this channel to put us all together in this beautiful homeland, in this beautiful place where we can all tune in, share our experiences and have a wonderful time together. So, without further ado, I officially declare that the Paris Star Channel is officially open. Today 
we have arrived to the end of this video but hopefully I will be able to see you um, soon you know Paris Star Channel it's officially open tune in and look for further episodes let's have a wonderful journey and adventure together in the meantime for me it's time to say goodbye for now and hopefully I will see you soon from Paris with love Mwah. bye bye <laughs>